So Gary, this is it. Just making your way up. This is the transmitter, Clarkstown, Summerhill. That's the mast, obviously you can see up there. You just had a quick view in. That big monster over yeah. there. And this building is the transmitter building. Chief Engineer's Tom Hand, we'll meet him in a second. Um, and that's it, lovely daffodils out. Nice breezy bright day, not too cold. And we're just gonna have a look around. Great. Chief Engineer of Atlantic 252. Now has the key. I have the key. I have the secret. I think I'll go and turn this other transmitter off. Have a look. Filters. This is the output side, yeah? Yeah, that is the main output. That there, that, that gas capacitor there on the left, that's uh, that and the coil that's behind this uh, screen here, the second harmonic filter. It's a series tuned filter, coil and capacitor in series. Okay, what you're looking at are the three places where we've been. We've been there, here, and of course looking at the harmonic filter and this is the back of the transmitter here as you can see lots of cooling pipes and so on a lot of cooling power supply. Now I'm not sure I'll ask Tom but I think that the, the electricity supply for all of this, the two transmitters, this is the is electricity. A few grand a week as you can see the, uh, the transmitters. There's actually the working transmitter, there's actually the back doors open. Which is over here, this is the other one. Okay. Um, so what we're looking at here then is the power supply for the two transmitters, which is bloody enormous anyway. <laughs> Shall we go to the bottom of the mass? Yeah. Oh. We're going to have a look, I think, at the dummy load here. To 140 ohms at this particular frequency at 252. The main part of the dummy load is at, at this other door. So this is the matching? That's matching, yeah. yeah. Okay. Right next to it. Okay, I'll open this other door for you if you like. Elements. Six resistors uh, in those uh, glass tubes, Pyrex glass tubes. 140 ohms 
capable of 1.5 megawatts. 1.5 megawatts? Yeah, they, they dissipate 1.5 megawatts. When both transmitters are running, Tom, what, what sort of voltage altogether is coming in up here? Approximately. Electricity? Yeah. It's 10 kV. The supply to the station is 10 kV. Power consumption is 1.2 megawatts at the moment on full power. Or at the moment, in terms of cost, it's about 1,100 pounds a day. 24 hours. 24 hours, yeah. Wow. So, Gary, what's that? Tell us, in American dollars, what could that be? Um, about $3,000 uh, a dollars Yeah, something like that, nearly a two day. grand. Well, just over two grand. <coughs> this is a, a water, a, a water air heat exchanger. <laughs> the water that's uh, cooling the transmitters at the moment flows down to this heat exchanger. And cold air is drawn from the louvers over there. The warm air is sucked up through these, uh, these pipes here, wasted outside. On full power, we dissipate roughly 250 kilowatts of heat in this unit. And then if we run the dummy load, we run that unit over there, it has uh, two 10 horsepower fans in it. There are uh, six foot uh, blades on the fans. And we have a 20 horsepower pump for pumping the water from the dummy load to that. The rate of flow on that, with the dummy load on full power, is about 140 gallons a minute. Piping. Or most of it, isn't it? That's all just the a, a flow panel where all the pipes come together. The two pipes on the left are the flow and return from the dummy load, and the two pipes on the right are the flow and return from the transmitters. Grey cabinet here, that grey cabinet there is uh, motor control. It controls all the pumps and blowers in the plant room, cooling blowers, and it also controls the switching of the combining unit. There are motor driven switches on the top of this combiner and uh, it will set the position of the switches. And this being the combiner here. Yeah. One voltage tube. One voltage tube. Are tubes expensive? £30,000 each, they're guaranteed for 5,000 hours, and normally uh, we get in excess of 40,000 hours out of them. Okay, well, Gary is here. Gary, uh, we're upstairs. I assume that there's a lot of voltage in here if uh, it's fenced off like this. Um, I'd say so, yeah. But look behind you, though. Look behind you. Yeah, this is where we've just been looking at that transmitter, remember? Yeah. And that's where we were. We walked along here. Into here. Cooling room is over there. That's the other transmitter we used. Okay, um, Tom, what, what exactly this is this? This is the here? main uh, high tension supply for the transmitter. The um, supply from the electricity company is at uh, 10,000 volts, and that supply uh, goes into transformers in the rooms underneath us. There's only access from the outside of the building for fire security. And uh, trans the bolt just stepped up here and then fed onto this uh, 12 pulse full wave rectifier. And this gives us uh, the main high tension for the transmitter. High tension is 30,000 volts at 30 amps. And then there are, uh, on the other side here of the cage, there are two uh, large variacs. Uh, they're the filament supply for the tubes, the two tubes in the transmitter. 
modulator tube and uh, PA tube. And the output of those is 14 volts, and the, sub the transformer in the sec in between the two of them gives uh, 1,000 volts, which is the supply for the screen of the PA tube. So it's a good idea to have it all fenced off. Absolutely, <laughs> yes. Very, very dangerous. Close up. Let's have a look at the sun. And the spare parts. Uh, we should have, at any one time, we have a minimum of one replacement part for every item and one transmitter. And if you look on this side of the room here, on the right hand side, uh, the spares between the door here and the end on this right hand side, the total cost of spare parts on that side is about £100,000. The spares in the other part of the room, some of them are older stock, but uh, it's still all uh, current spares. Workshop. This is our workshop for repairing uh, doing that. Where's that coming from? 
We are in the shed at the bottom. The ATU. The ATU at the bottom of the tower. The radio station on the fence. Gary Wilkinson, listening. Not only was I on the air earlier, now I'm part of the aerial. I will direct my signal to different parts of the UK. Gary Wilkinson. Em em emanating a different polarizer. Huh? Wetting your finger. Ooh. Using the wet finger mitt. I uh, don't say. <laughs> I, I didn't do that. There you go. And that uh, concludes today's trip. So it's goodbye from me. And it's, it's goodbye, goodbye from him. him. Goodbye. <laughs> Bye.